Hi, my name is Diana and welcome to my channel. And this is the fourth book I read for the March Mystery Madness. And uh, it's SPQR1, The King's Gambit, uh, by John Maddox Roberts. Uh, and this is the first book in the series. So the protagonist is Decius uh, Cassilius uh, Metellus, who is a very fictional figure. He is an invention of uh, the author, but he is a part of a very much very real uh, historical family, the Metellus, the Metellus, and he meets practically all people around him were real historical figures. And the story takes pl place in um, the time of Roman Republic, not exactly right before it stopped existing and Roman Empire was born, but very close to it, because one of the people um, Decius meets and forms a kind of relationship with is a young Julius Caesar, who is also at the start of his political career, uh, like Decius is. Decius is at the start of his political career. He is one of the commission of 26. I have no idea what that means, but I guess he is at very very bottom of the political pyramid. So uh, he is his job basically, uh, as I understood it, to investigate murders. So it's kind of a police procedural of ancient Rome. And uh, because he belongs to a very famous family, and his father is very comfortably off, I understand it, and he holds a very high political position and uh, maybe because of that, because of his father and because of the fact that he starts a political career himself, he is all, all always often invited to different feasts, to, to different uh, gatherings where they talk about everything, about politics, about philosophy, uh, whatever. So, uh, and he gives us his opinions of these very <laughs> much real historical figures. And it's not supposed to be funny, but it is. it kind of is. I like his sense of humor, his remarks. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so, one, uh, one morning he wakes up to two murders and a suspicion of arson. And I understood it, that people of Rome very much hated uh, arsonists. Maybe because um, the entire city could uh, have burned down in a very short time. So he needs to investigate it. And he starts his investigation and very soon he understands that there is cons a conspiracy. But he he is very stubborn, he is very determined and to do his, do his job. <laughs> and he is very honest, kind of. <laughs> well, he, he is honest. And uh, he continues to investigate so that uh, very soon his father starts to be afraid uh, for his son's life. And um, most of the uh, story takes place in the Roman Forum. And I've been there, I have seen the ruins, and uh, I enjoyed quite a bit his uh, descriptions of not even descriptions, his explanations about the buildings. I kind of wish that I 
read this book before I went to Rome because those <laughs> buildings they kind of meant practically nothing to me and uh, now <laughs> Now I know more, I know better, and now I just <laughs> look through my um, tourist books that I bought there, uh, picture books, and I enjoy it quite a bit. He also, uh, how book chemists would put it, uh, explores sexuality. I think it was a very good uh, discussion description, depiction of the time, of the morals, of the people, of the political situation. It was quite interesting and the ending was indeed funny and very satisfying. I will not spoil it for you, but the ending was kind of very satisfying for me. I enjoyed and I enjoyed this quite a bit and I will continue with the series. Thank you for watching, goodbye and happy reading.